All right, hey K1, um, welcome to music class this week. Let's stand up and get ready to sing. Whoa. All right, so first things first, I want you to try to touch the ceiling, ready? Whoa. Stretch out, and then lean over and touch your toes. Whoa. Oh, that feels great. All right, so you're gonna have a seat, Whoa, no, I'm going to have a seat. You're going to stay standing, all right? And we are going to warm up, okay? For today, we are going to start with... We are going to start with... Ooh, like a ghost, all right? And we're going to go like this. Ooh, all right, sing with me. Ready, ready, sing. Alright, so um, now instead of saying ooh, let us say ah. Uh. Ready? Ah, uh, like A, the, the letter. We'll go through all our vowels. We did ooh for O, and now we're gonna do ah uh for A. Ready? Ah, uh, ready, sing. Ah. Uh. Okay, so we did A, and we did O, so let's do E, right? All our vowels are A, E, I, O, and O, so let's do, we did ah, uh, now let's do E, E, ready, sing, E. So we did A, E, and what's the next vowel? I. We're going to get, for I, let's do, we'll say I, 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 okay? <laughs> All right. Ready, sing. I, 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 I. Okay, so we did A, E, I, and we did ooh, we did O oh already, but ooh kind of sounds like you as well. Hmm, why don't we just go you, 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 okay? So we're going to say you, you, ready, ready, sing, you, 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 All right, so we did all of our vowels, A, E, I, O, and U, U. Let's um, sing the song that we sang last week. It was Bow Wow Wow. All right, I'll sing it once so you remember how it goes, and then we'll sing it together, okay? <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so. Mm, bow Wow Wow. Bow Wow Wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Ready, sing, bow, wow, wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, bow, wow, wow. Nice. All right, now we're going to sing it again, but just in case I ever see you in person, we're going to add something to it, and that way we can sing it, and there's a little game that goes along with it that we can play, all right? Um, so at the end, we're going to go woof, all right? So we're gonna go bow wow wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, bow wow wow, woof. So woof like a dog, okay, ready, ready. and you were standing the whole time, you can sit down now, because um, I want to talk to you about uh, this week's Instrument of the Week. 
So last week and the week before, I went over to my computer and we talked a little bit about saxophone and, and tone color and stuff like that. This week, I'm not going to do that, um, uh, but next week, uh, I'll go back to doing that and it'll be great. So this week, I want to show you guys um, the instrument of the week. So last week, it was saxophone, okay? And this week, doo -doo -doo, it is the recorder. So check it out. Now, let us talk about the same thing that we did with the saxophone. What do you think the tone color of this instrument is going to sound like? Let's think about all the different things that affect tone color. Okay? It's size. Is this a big or a small instrument? What do you know about big and small instruments? Do you think this is going to be a high-pitched instrument or a low-pitched instrument? Okay? Um, what's it made out of? Can you see what it's made out of? Or what does it look like it's made out of? Maybe it's made out of something different. What about how you play it? How do you think that you play this instrument? Let me put on a light so you can see it a little bit better. So, how do you think this instrument is going to sound? I'll give you a little demonstration in just a moment. There is the light. There, now you can see it a little bit better. All right, so I'm going to play this instrument. I'll take a step back so you can see me playing it. Watch where I'm moving my chair. Okay, so I'll take a, I'm going to play it, and let's see if what you thought was correct. All right, so I'm going to play a little folk song for you called Ye Banks and Braes. All right, so did that sound anything like you thought it would based on what you know about tone color? So, as you'll note, um, was it a high-pitched instrument or low-pitched? It was a high-pitched instrument, all right? And how did we know that? Just by looking at it? We knew that because it was small. It's not the smallest instrument. It's about the length of my arm, okay? But it is pretty small compared to some other instruments, right? Um, uh, what about what it was made out of? Did it sound like something that was made out of metal or something that was made out of wood? Um, it, to me, it definitely sounds like something that's made out of wood. It has a very nice and sweet sound, okay? And you'll see that it looks like it's made out of wood. Now that's just the way that mine is made, but what it's actually made out of, this one, is made out of plastic. So um, recorders are usually made out of um, wood. Um, the very nice ones are. Now I don't have a very nice one. I just have this one because it was a lot cheaper um, for me. And since I don't play a lot of recorder, it was better for me to get one that was made out of plastic. And it does a pretty good job of sounding just like a recorder, um, but it, a wooden one would sound even more warm and inviting, very, um, uh, very clear, okay? The plastic makes it sound a little bit more harsh, closer to metal, but still pretty warm, okay? And lastly, I forgot to talk about this before I played, but how do we play it? We blow into it, of course. As you can see, that's where you blow into it. Now, unlike the saxophone, you'll see that there's no reed. Remember last week? There was a reed right here. And we said that when we played, we blew into the saxophone, the reed would vibrate. 
okay? And that would um, change how the air, or it would, that would vibrate the air throughout the whole thing and make the sound. Now, the recorder works a little differently. When you blow into it right here, when you blow into it right here, what happens is right here, the air will come right through this little hole right here, and it will get split. There's a little tiny sharp edge right here where the air gets split, okay? And when the air gets split, that's kind of like the reed, okay? Where it causes it to vibrate. Now this doesn't vibrate the same way, but it splits the air and allows it to make that sound. And just like the saxophone, we change how long the instrument is by adding fingers, right? So whenever I blow on the instrument right now with this many, with just my one finger on it, the air is actually coming out of this hole and the instrument is really only this long, right? From the tip to where this hole is, right? So listen. So as I add fingers, it goes lower, just like the saxophone, listen. So as you cover up fingers, it gets lower. All right, so um, that's about how, that's how it sounds and sort of how it works. Okay, it's really similar to the saxophone because it's also a wind instrument. Now, a little bit of history on the recorder is this. The recorder is actually a pretty old instrument. Um, there's some of them that go back many hundreds of years and it really had a lot of use during the medieval period and the Baroque period. Now, that was about um, six or eight hundred six to eight hundred years ago so this instrument is really really old in terms of um, humans okay but for a little bit after the baroque period of music um it didn't get played a lot because there was um instruments like the flute that are very similar um that got um that came into favor okay which means People, it's not that people didn't like the sound of this, but that um, uh, flutes just became more popular, okay? And people wanted to play flutes and hear the sound of flutes more. Um, in the 1900s, recorders started to come back um, because people um, were discovering it and they were like, whoa, I really like how that sounds. And I want to give that a shot. I want to, I want to make music for that instrument. It also came back because um, certain people, um, because it's such an easy instrument to play, like you can play it, I mean, to make sound on it is really, really easy. You don't, I mean, you really don't have to try at all. All you have to do is just like blow really gently and it'll, you don't even have to put it to your mouth in order to make sound. Listen. It doesn't sound as good, but, it, you know, it, to make sound on it is really, really easy. And so people thought that it would be a really good idea to um, teach kids um, in like fourth grade-ish, third grade-ish, um, you know, um, to learn how to play this um, as a really, as a, as a fun instrument that they could learn how to play without a lot of uh, trouble. So... Um, I don't know where you go to school, but I know that a lot of schools around us use recorders. So probably when you're in um, third or fourth grade, you might get a chance to play this instrument. Um, so I hope that you at least give it a shot because I have a lot of fun with it. And I know that all the people I um, teach recorder to have a lot of fun learning it. Um, so yeah, the recorder is an old instrument but we're using it a lot nowadays and you guys i mean there's a very good chance that you would you're going to play a recorder um in the future so look forward to that right okay so um uh besides that i want to give you guys a little sneak peek about next week okay 
So next week, we are going to um, talk about something in music called dynamics. Can you guys say the word dynamics? Awesome. So dynamics are like our volume in music. Volume is how loud or quiet something is. So when you're in your car with your mom and dad, and you know, they're driving and you're sitting in the back, eating your McDonald's or whatever, right? Um, uh, and uh, they turn the knob on the stereo, um, they're changing the volume of the music. They're making it louder or quieter. Now, in music, we like to give um, everything uh, different names. So we have names for um, loud music and quiet music. I'm going to sing Bow Wow Wow both loud and quiet. Why don't you join me, all right? So I want us to sing Bow Wow Wow, but loudly, okay? So, mm, ooh, my piano turned off. Mm, bow, ready, sing. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. All right, so we sang it loudly. All right, now let's sing it very quietly, okay? Ready, ready, sing. Bow, wow, wow. Whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. Awesome, okay. So, not only can we sing loud and quiet, we can change um, uh, our volume in the middle of the song. So, listen, I'm gonna change it suddenly, all right? Bow, wow, wow, whose dog art thou? Little Tommy Tucker's dog, bow, wow, wow. So, I went, Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. Okay, and now um, we're going to put a name to that next week. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek this, sneak peek this week. Um, and you can also change it gradually, which means over time, not all at once, not suddenly. Okay, um, so I'm going to change it over time. dog art thou, little Tommy Tucker's dog. <coughs> Pardon me, I, I had to cough. Let me try that again. Mm, bow, wow, wow, whose dog art thou, little Tommy Tucker's dog. Bow, wow, wow. <sighs> so, I, ch I started out quiet, and I slowly got louder, okay? <laughs> So we're going to talk about that a little bit next week. But now, um, to wrap it up, I want to teach you guys a new song. All right? So, same as always, I um, am going to sing the whole song to you. I want you to listen. And then we'll learn it in parts and we'll sing it together. Okay? So here's the song. It is about a cat. Okay? It goes like this. Naughty kitty cat, you are very fat. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat. All right, so the song is about um, a fat cat who is eating all the butter off of the counter. All right, do you, when you, if, if some of you might leave butter out on the counter so it stays um, warm. Um, okay, so I want you to echo me, okay? Naughty kitty cat, your turn. Naughty kitty cat, good, again. Naughty kitty cat, again. Naughty kitty cat, woo! All right, so we say naughty kitty cat two different um, ways. Here's the other way. Naughty kitty cat, ready, sing. Naughty kitty cat. Great, now we're going to go like this. You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat. Together! You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat. Again! You have butter on your whiskers, naughty kitty cat. Alright, I got a little bit too crazy there. I don't know <laughs> what I was doing. Alright, one more time. So, you have butter on your whiskers, 
Naughty Kitty Cat. Let's sing it together. Ready, sing. You have butter on your whiskers, Naughty Kitty Cat. Yeah. All right, so let's do, that's the second half of the song. Now we're going to do the first half of the song. Listen to how it sounds. Naughty Kitty Cat, you are very fat. Let's sing that part. So did you, did you hear me? Or did you see me go like this? That means we're just going to take a pause in the music. You don't have to do this, but I just wanted to show you that we're going to pause for a second. Okay? So, ready, sing, Naughty Kitty Cat, you are very fat. Okay? So we are going to rest after um, those two times. Let's sing it again. Ready, sing, Naughty Kitty Cat, you are very fat. Okay? Now we're going to put it all together. After you are very fat, we're going to say, You have butter on your whiskers, Naughty Kitty Cat. Okay. Ready, sing, Naughty Kitty Cat, you are very fat. You have butter on your whiskers, Naughty Kitty Cat. Awesome. So if you didn't catch any of that, go back, um, learn it a couple times so that we can sing it together next week. All right, that'll be all. Um, I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Guys, I forgot to mention, for the poll question this week, I want you to tell me um, what recorders are usually made out of, okay? Mine was made out of plastic, but in the past and even the oh. ones today, what are recorders usually made of?